uh, let's talk about abortion. So I told you right before we started. So I am pro-choice. I've been pro-choice my entire life. I can treat people who are pro-life respectfully, and I've had many of them on here and have had interesting conversations. I think, I think that the abortion one brings out something in the national dialogue that sort of gets to the heart of all of the anger, where it's like, you know, if you're on the right, you say that the left hates babies, and if you're on the left, you say that the right hates women, and I think that's just an absolutely false choice, but that's really what we're being thrown at all the time. Uh, you are pro-choice, but you wanna explain that a little bit? Yeah. Uh... I mean, I agree with you that right now it's getting culturally freighted, um, but I think that uh, women should have the ability to make their own determination. It's a deeply personal decision. Um, I mean, in an ideal society, whenever a woman was getting pregnant, she'd be excited to like, you know, like um, bring that baby into the world, but uh, in, like that's not the world we live in. Uh, and so I, I want to protect women's reproductive rights in any way I can. Uh, and um, do, you, do you have a cutoff point? Is there a set amount of weeks or months that, at that point? Uh, well, it? certainly, I find late-term abortions to be, like, you know, really problematic. Um, but my understanding is that those are extraordinarily rare, unless there's some sort of medical circumstance. Um, and so I would be reluctant to have some sort of uh, date cut off because, uh, again, in, in my view, um, it should be up to the uh, woman what, what to do. Yeah. So six months, a woman has a perfectly viable fetus at six months, and you would still give her that choice? I would. 